In this video, we will be discussing a problem involving area. Since chapter 11 is all about finding the area of a variety of different polygons, we're just going to start with finding the area of rectangles and squares in this first section. So what you have is actually a question that we are going to brainstorm how to get it started. And then I'm going to have you try to get as far as you can at home and then bring any ideas you have into class the next day. And then we will finish this problem in our groups. So if we take a look at this problem, it says a rectangular lawn has an area of 126 meters squared. Surrounding the lawn is a flower border four meters wide, having an area of 264 meters squared. A circular sprinkler is installed in the middle of the lawn. What is the radius of the sprinkler if it covers the entire yard, including the flower border? Round to the nearest meter. So the first thing I would do to start this problem is I would try to draw a diagram. So it says we have a rectangular lawn. And then surrounding that rectangular lawn is a flower border that is four meters wide on each side. So since we know the width of this flower border is four, that means this would be four, this would be four, so and so on. Now you're going to have to use two different variables to represent the dimensions of our lawn since it doesn't give us any information. So let's say we'll call the width of the lawn, so I'm going to highlight this here in green. Let's call that X. And then I'm going to highlight the other side of our lawn in red, and we'll call that Y. So the only two things we're given is that the area of the lawn is 126 meters squared. So that's the area of the lawn. Then the area of just the flower border is 264. Is 264 meters squared. So then what would be the area of the entire thing? The area of the lawn and the area of the flower border. So the total area we would get just by adding those two numbers together. So 126 plus 264. So you should get 390 as the area of the entire thing. So what I'd like you to do now is I want you to determine what are the dimensions of the entire, the larger rectangle with the flower border. So that's what I would determine next. Then, after you determine those dimensions, I would set up two equations and since we have an X and a Y, in order to solve those two equations, we're going to have to solve a system. So go ahead See what you can do with this problem. Bring in any ideas you have to class the next day. And then we will finish this problem in our groups.